right, so this is the 850. We're gonna give this a go on the trails and see what it looks like. beam so that's just the low beam as you can see there's a lot more light being projected down low which is great because you can actually see where you where you're driving and you can see like tree stumps and rocks and branches um, you couldn't see that before it was just all light projecting up so let's try the high beam so we got the high beam there, that's good. As you can see, it lights up a little bit further. Now, this halogen housing has an upgraded just LED bulb in it. Um, it doesn't do as well as a nice set of projector lenses like on my XP1000 with that new kit. So, still works out good. I like how it's up above the low beams. You still have like good lighting there, as you can see. But uh, I definitely like how the low beams are much more kind of scattered down low and throughout sideways. So I like it so far. Let's keep on going. High beam is kind of weak to be honest compared to the low beams so we have just the running lights low beams which really light up a lot and there you go the high beams so on this 850 like I said the high beam turns on two more additional elements down low and the high beam headlight pod so it's different than that that newer kit that I got in my machine which is interesting so just once again, looks really good. I like how that's aiming. So the headlight pod on this right now is kind of weak. I'm going to have to upgrade it because it just doesn't look right. <laughs>
All right, let's try out the XP-1000 now and give that a try. I'll go the same route through the trails, that way it's kind of a even test. Oh yeah, I mean that, that's a lot brighter. Wow, those three elements up top really do light things up. All right, let's go get, give it a try. <coughs> really cold out right now. It's about, I don't know, feels like 25 degrees out. Got my heated grips on. There you can see the high beam LEDs. Turn the high beam off. I might have to go up higher with uh, the high beam versus that. But it's still good, but I would prefer to prefer it a little bit higher. So let's drive around with the, with the low beams on just for right now. There's a lot weird pattern of a scatter going on with the high beam, as you can see right there. Part of it has to do with the rack, that tube rack on there. It's kind of diverting the light, and you can kind of see it. Having those bumpers and stuff and the rack extenders really kind of blocks the light a little bit, but what can you do? Stop right here. So running lights, low beams, looks good. Got good, good pattern. You know, depending on how you sit on the machine, it kind of affects. You sit towards the back, you're gonna get a higher, a higher spread on the lights. But I mean, it works out pretty good. Like I said, I might go a tad higher with the high beam. Let's just go rip it.
All right, so I think I'm gonna adjust the high beam just up a little bit. And I think I'm okay with the low beams. I don't think I can do any better than that. Well guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.